What do you think it's like to have dyslexia? I've tried to understand it because I've experienced a little bit of what it's like just by trying to teach you how to read first as your mom, then as your teacher and kind of your teacher mom. But I honestly, like in my gut and my heart, I don't really understand what it's like. What do you think it's like to have dyslexia? Well, I don't know exactly, so I can only imagine. But from what I've seen, I guess it's harder to learn to read if you have it than if you don't have it. Okay. And um, probably harder to learn to write, too. Okay. What do you think it's like to have dyslexia? Well, I think it must be frustrating to be um, looking at something and what you see is not what it is. That would be very frustrating. I'd get frustrated easily. Okay. What do you think it's like to have dyslexia? No, dyslexia. Well, um, I have two children. They're both dyslexic, so I know a great deal about it. I think um, it's very tough to have dyslexia, especially when you're little, because everybody else is so different from you. And until you understand, um, how to learn and what dyslexia means for you, it can be very challenging and um, it can beat apart your self-esteem and make you think that you're not smart when I think you're really very, very smart. What do you think it's like to have dyslexia? I imagine that it's really hard and that oftentimes when other people don't understand that they would make you feel bad. What do you think it's like to have dyslexia? Um, I think it'd be really difficult to do normal things like reading or homework and stuff like that. I think it throws, it's a big problem for a lot of kids and a lot of people in general. Um, I can't really imagine it quite well at all. What do you think of dyslexia? Well, my daughter has dyslexia, so I know that it's very challenging, but I don't really... I understand that she sees things differently and learns differently, but I don't know what it's like to experience it. What do you think it's like to have dyslexia? I think having dyslexia would be very challenging for people. And I think it's something that you eventually adjust your life to, but I think it would be a challenge. What do you think it's like to have dyslexia? Well, I'm guessing it'd be pretty hard to like learn your different subjects since it's kind of harder to read that way. What do you think it's like to have dyslexia? I would imagine that it, was, it would be pretty hard to understand information that is being written on paper. Um, I would imagine that it that words and letters and numbers would get jumbled up in your head. And uh, it'd be pretty hard to uh, go through something like a reading class or read a book. So. Okay. okay. What do you think of dyslexics? Do you think they're smart, dumb, average? I would never say dumb. I would never say dumb. I know that throughout history there's been lots of people who have had dyslexia who have made huge contributions to the world, the sciences, the arts. In fact, my favorite author, Fanny Flagg, has severe dyslexia and she's written a lot of books and even one of her books was made into a movie. So I know that I would never say dumb, never. What do you think of dyslexics? Do you think like they're smart or dumb? Um, they're some of my favorite people. Um, I think there's probably little to no connection between intelligence and dyslexia. You can be dyslexic and smart, you can probably be dyslexic and dumb, or anything in between. Okay, and um, what do you think of dyslexics? Do you think they're smart, dumb, average? Oh, I think they're smart, because they've overcome uh, a you know, a difficulty, and they figured out how to um, overcome that. So it takes a lot of willpower and a lot of smarts to overcome that, to learn how to, uh, you know, operate with that. What do you think of dyslexics? 
I think dyslexics are very intelligent people. I think they are people that have brains that are wired very differently than everybody else, and it's hard for them to um, understand that until they get older, but I think um, they tend to be very, very bright people. Okay. What do you think of dyslexics? I think that they are just as smart as everybody else, and I think that since they have to work twice as hard as everybody else to make things work for them, that that will help them later because most of life is working hard and I think they're already very good at it when they learn to read. What do you think of dyslexics? Do you think they're smart, dumb? Um, I think people with dyslexia would be considered more intelligent than regular people because they have to put a lot more effort into what they're reading and whatever they're working on that people without it could do really quickly. What do you think of dyslexics? Do you think they're smart, dumb? I actually think they're very brilliant. I think sometimes the way that they learn differently as far as reading, they have de definite benefits in other ways of learning. What do you think of dyslexics? Do you think they're smart, dumb? I think they're smart, but they're not dumb at all. They just see things a little differently. What do you think of dyslexics? Do you think they're smart, dumb? No, I don't think they're any different from anybody else. I mean, it's not like, you know, they're, they're the same as everybody else. It's just that they can't read as well. What do you think of dyslexics? Do you think they're smart and dumb? I don't think they're dumb. I think they're actually pretty smart. I, there was a girl in, on Disney Channel, and uh, she is dyslexic, uh, but now she reads like two, grade, two grades above her, two levels above her grade. What is it like to teach someone who has dyslexia since you teach me and I have dyslexia? When I first started to teach you how to read, it was very frustrating because I didn't know you had dyslexia and I didn't understand how I would show you a word and we would learn a word and then the next time you saw it, it was as if you were seeing it again for the first time. And it would happen over and over and over and I used to get so frustrated and I didn't understand what was going on and, and I would get, you know, like impatient with you and I feel bad about that because I, I truly didn't understand what was happening with you. I think I'm a lot better now understanding it. Okay, last question. What do you think it's like to teach someone who has dyslexia? Mm, again, I'm just guessing, but I guess it's probably harder and more frustrating and probably harder still if they're in a classroom with other people who aren't because the teacher might not even know they're dyslexic and not understand why they're having a problem and not know what to do about it. What do you think it's like to teach someone who has dyslexia? Uh, to teach someone with dyslexia it takes a lot of patience, I'm sure. And you need to um, have patience and have an understanding for what they're going through as, uh, as they're learning. What do you think it's like to teach someone who has dyslexia? I think you have to understand that they learn differently and they have to do things differently and I think as long as you understand that and accept that, then I think there should be no problems. Okay, so what do you think it's like to teach someone who has dyslexia? I think it's a lot like teaching other people except you have to remember um, to do certain things to help them, like to make sure that they have enough time to write the things they need to write and to make sure that um, they only read aloud if you ask them to, that kind of thing. But I think they're just as smart as everybody else, so they're definitely not hard to teach. What do you think it's like to teach someone who has dyslexia? Um, I think it would be a lot different than teaching someone without it because it's really not something that someone that does not have it can so easily picture and live with. So someone who teaches have to have a lot of experience with dealing with it to get the point across. Okay. What do you think it's like to teach someone who has dyslexia? It's challenging because you have to rethink everything. There's no, um, and not in a bad way, but you have to think outside the box. You have to give different opportunities, try to do more hands-on things, um, and just learn what works for them so that they can learn the most. What do you think it's like to teach someone who has dyslexia? 
Well, I have had some experience teaching because my one son has dyslexia. So I just taught him in a way where he felt comfortable. Oh, what do you think it's like to teach someone who has dyslexia? Um, I guess it'd be a little bit harder to do that, but it seems like after you get to know the person, it'd be easier to teach to them. Okay. What do you think it's like to teach someone who has dyslexia? I would imagine it was pretty. It would be pretty hard. Uh, you don't really. You can't really. If you're not dyslexic, you can't really relate to the dyslexic person, and you would have to figure out a way to help the dyslexic person understand what you're teaching. So uh, I, would, I would imagine it was pretty hard. Okay. like you to read this, but first explain what it is. Oh, I know what this is. It's, I've had a little bit of practice, but it's a simulation to help people like me who don't have dyslexia, especially teachers, because sometimes they don't really have this sort of compassion or the empathy they should have for some of their students who have dyslexia. It's something to help us understand what it's like, you know, a direct experience of what it's like. So should I start? Yes. Okay. We begin our trip. We begin our trip in a familiar place. A, a dotty, a, a dotty, a, a body, a body like yours and, and mine. A mass produced rasus. Uh, rasus are rem. Remoom. A mass produced remoom. All right. So the code in each cell is identical. Uh, Razor carpable. Uh, um, uh, unique. Wait, no. Identical. A. Contains a. I, I see how you want to That's cute. Key's tough, man. Billion um, calls. And, oh boy. <laughs> that work. To. Together, uh, uh, is a lermin dis the you nay des er crisab at quo the at tith as not hyag uh, at go if. And mine. I'd contain a. Can you read the whole thing? Like, if you want to just read as much as you can take. Okay, I'll try to do a couple more words. This is very challenging. Hewn out, but with the big. Oh my goodness. Begre Fo Intelligence A Chill Bisa That's very hard to read. That's a challenge. What is a learning disability? Very interesting. You may be surprised to know that it is. Wait. Oh, this is hard. <laughs> but producing? <laughs> it can't be. A mess producing uh 
Rasus. I, I don't know. The, the, the bad thing about it is I'm getting some of the words, but I have no idea what it's about. It has something to do with cells and DNA, but I don't, because pieces are missing and I, I can't understand all the words. I can't, I don't know what it's about. R. Rem. Remoom. A mass produced remoom. All right. So the code in each cell is identical. Uh, Razor carpable. K. There's no K. So it's actually a K in the word. Clean. Keep going, man. Yeah, I'm getting it. I'm going a little better, aren't I? Yeah. I get it now. This means that the calls are nearly alike. But not exactly the same. Take for instance the calls of the Body like yours. Yeah, calls. Each one uh, that <laughs> uh, has. While earning broad limbs, say feck, settle it, wreck, even turn out, even or rex, kiss. May describe. that did you understand? Mm, probably very little. Um, the more I had to stop, the less I could retain of what it was and was just more focused on um, solving the puzzle of what the word was. So that slows it down and then you lose everything you read before that. Mm -hmm. yeah. What did you think like, what did you think of reading that? I think my, I thought it was, you know, it's frustrating to try to see a word and then have to go back and say, oh, I gotta, gotta translate it. It was like a foreign language almost to me. To go back, constantly back and forth to try to figure out what letters mean what and how to pronounce what letters. Um, how was that like? Like, what did you think of that? It made you feel stupid, it made you feel dumb, and it made you feel like, why can't I make sense of this and what's wrong with me? Hmm. So like, how did that kind of feel? Like, was that hard, tough? Like, it what? Made Describe. It feel kind of stupid not being able to read it, especially because like, I don't know. It made something as simple as like a little paragraph on DNA 
become a lot more difficult to understand and took a lot longer to comprehend what I was actually reading. Like, um, how well did you understand that? Like, yeah. Well, I, I understood what was happening, but I couldn't make heads or tails out of it. Like, I understood, like, I could look at it and see, I know what the word is supposed to be, but the letters are reversed or backwards, but it didn't make it any easier to read it if that makes any sense. Like, I was like, okay, I know this isn't right. I think I know what it might be, but it was all guessing. So it was very, very challenging. How well did you understand the reading? I barely got through two sentences, didn't I? I was able to get the first sentence out, uh, but I couldn't even get through the second sentence. I think if I sat here for a longer period of time, I'd be able to piece it together, but right off the bat, it's pretty challenging for me to read that. How well did you understand the reading? Uh, not really well. I could read like the first line and then I could read the rest of it. Um, how well did you understand that? I can only understand the first four words. That's it. That's it. The rest is just mumbo jumbo to me. Like, what do you think of that? I think it was really hard, and that I felt really uncomfortable the whole time, and that if there had been a whole room of people staring at me instead of just my friend John, I would have felt really bad. <laughs> But I think it also helps me understand what it's like to be a person with dyslexia, which makes me a more thoughtful and kind person and a better teacher.